and just actually as we come on the air is just reopened to traffic here at 134th Southwest 134th and Penn. In this video shot earlier today, you see two trucks involved in this accident. It's shot by Sky 5. There were six people total involved in this accident. Five were in that white truck, which crashed into a tree. One was in a silver truck. One person in that white truck was killed. Four in total were injured. Uh, two were injured critically. All four of those were hospitalized. As you saw, there was a large police presence earlier today blocking off southwest 134th to traffic between Penn and Winding Trail Road. As I mentioned, those roads now back open. From what we saw, the crash involved at least three vehicles. We saw a third smaller car off to the side that had extensive damage to the rear of the car. This is all right near the Moore Norman Technology Center. The collision actually happening only a few feet from a southwest OKC library branch. And back on scene here in Southwest OKC, police say the investigation continues from what they believe this all could have happened because of speed, speed playing a role in this accident today. There'll be more details once we see the full investigation report tomorrow. We'll have those updates to you as we get them. Reporting live in Southwest Oklahoma City, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO. 5 News. Andy, thank you. And just into the newsroom, we just got this statement from more public schools that this evening the Oklahoma City Police Department confirmed to more public schools that the vehicle accident there at Southwest 134th and Penn involved multiple high school students from Westmore and it resulted in one student fatality. So a Westmore student confirmed as the victim there. Multiple other students are currently hospitalized. Also saying the entire MPS family now grieves this terrible loss. Mental health team will be on site and available to help students and employees at Westmore throughout the final day of school tomorrow. Adding their thoughts and prayers are with the families affected by this incident and severe loss. That just coming in from Moore Public Schools.